Good morning. It's Monday, September 4th, 2023. Some of you may have heard there's a lot of people that are stuck in Black Rock City right now, out in Nevada. Uh, they were there this week for the, uh, the Burning Man event. It takes place every year about this time, uh, late August, early September. Uh, one of the things that's kind of interesting about Burning Man is that it's based around self-reliance and community. And I think that's, that's pretty neat. I've never been personally myself, but yeah, I found it fascinating. Um, so one of the things about going there is you got to be fully self-sufficient. You got to take everything that you're going to possibly need for the week that you're there. There's no outside services or support. So um, if you if you can't bring it in yourself, you probably won't be able to get it there. So you got to bring food, you got to bring water, you know, clothes, tent, shelter, RV, whatever it is you might need for the week. And you know, a lot of people prepare for this for. Uh, weeks or months or some people probably spend all year thinking about their their adventure out there anyway so uh, this year they had probably two months of rain in two hours and I can tell you firsthand uh, we had some of that rain down here in Arizona and it was like a fire hose raining down on you so you mix that with soft dirt silt that alkali dust that they have out there and it's a pretty bad situation uh, in terms of just real thick, heavy mud that sticks to everything. So people there are pretty much stuck. Uh, people are trying to get out. Some people are. Some people are walking five miles to get out to the pavement to where they can get a shuttle to the nearest town. And there's a lot of people that are just stuck in place. So I've had people approach me and, and ask me, hey, uh, what about coordinating an airdrop to get supplies into the people there? I was like, hey, you know what? That's a really good idea. Let me see how, uh, let me see what we can come up with. Let me see if we can put something together. So I started thinking, I was like, all right, I got the 182, the seats are out, tons of baggage space. What can I fly over and drop to these people on the ground there? So the first things that come to, come to mind, food, water, right? Some of the most basics you need, especially when you're out in the desert, you got no outside support um, water is kind of difficult right so obviously it's heavy and it's bulky there's only so much you can pack into a plane like this and then what do you do uh, parachute it down I can't really say I'm set up for anything like that um, food I was thinking about that okay so MREs or meals ready to eat if you're not familiar that might be viable okay so how do we get a bunch of MREs to people on the ground? Okay, so you fill up the back of the airplane and then have somebody pushing this stuff out low level. Okay, that, that might work. What else do people need? I don't, I don't know. Toilet paper, uh, wipes, um, trash bags, stuff like that might help. So I started thinking about it realistically. Okay, from where I am in Arizona, it's about a five hour flight one way. That's, that's a long way to go. Um, not impossible, but I was trying to reach some people on the ground there and so far I've been unsuccessful, I'm trying to at least just get some feedback, what the situation is like, real world. I did see some other videos out there. Um, Trent Palmer actually made a pretty good video. Uh, this morning I saw it showing some, some people stuck in the mud and getting an update from one of the ATC controllers of what's going on down there. So that was interesting. Uh, realistically, it's it's probably not going to be coordinated from down here in Arizona. So I thought I'd make a video and maybe try to get some other people involved, some people closer to the event, maybe people with better resources. So who's up there in in uh, who's up there in Nevada, right? I mean, Trent Palmer, he's not that far away. Maybe he's got the resources. Heavy D Sparks, he's got some helicopters. Maybe they can get something set up. Does anybody have any ideas? Uh, does anybody have MREs that we can donate? Does anybody have any other supplies? I've seen a lot of posts and threads on some of the Facebook groups and other platforms 
hey, does anybody have an airplane or can anybody come pick me up or fly us out? And I'll pay you a lot of money and this and that. And like for me, I'm not interested in doing this for the money. I just wanted to help some people out on the ground there. And I think there's other people probably closer by with better resources than I have that might be able to help. So maybe just making this video will get the gears turning like they've been for me for the last 24 hours or so. Maybe there's other people who are already doing this. I don't know, but I thought I'd at least share my thoughts and ideas. Maybe we can coordinate Trent Palmer. Maybe you can get in on this. Maybe you know other people um, who can help donate and you guys can fill up an airplane and go drop some stuff off to people. I don't know. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to know what you guys think. Any ideas are welcome. Um, I'm kind of just scrambling here to come up with something, but... I'm not really set up for this. How can we help as a group? Let's let's figure this out. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, always look forward to the, the comments and always look forward to the feedback. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.